Hello, this is Bernie and welcome to Bluegrass RC. Today I'm taking out my Gladiator out on rock pile there to uh, check out the new pair of Desert Lizard shocks I put on. I already had one pair of Desert Lizard shocks and I was running those on the front end with two stage springs and no oil. Um, seemed to be doing pretty good on there. So I went out, got another pair and the rear shocks, I'm running 35 weight oil on them with a single stage soft spring in in them. I uh, did this because I uh, got a heavier weight bias on the front end, so wanted the uh, dual stage there. Uh, kind of keep uh, the uh, body down uh, towards the axles there. I'm hoping that there will be a benefit for uh, steep climbs to keep uh, the body from flipping back as easily and then on the back end i've got the softer springs there but with oil so that on acceleration or climbing hopefully it'll keep the body straighter and uh, more level and uh, work out better for acceleration and climbing so here we are on my rock pile um, so far, results I'm seeing have been pretty good. Uh, getting a lot of articulation, keeping rubber on the uh, surface so I get uh, more traction and more control. And it seems to be working out pretty good so far. So, the uh, truck. Uh, been climbing these rocks uh, pretty good uh, the high racks tires I got on there they're grippy sticky and uh, as long as they're in contact with the rock um, usually getting uh, forward progress and of course uh, these rocks are pretty steep and and uh, large so it does belly out at times and when that happens, I just kind of got to back up, reset, and uh, move on from there. But uh, that's uh, pretty satisfied with these shocks. I may try a different uh, stiffness on the rear springs. May try a medium spring, see how that performs with them. And if I do, I'll probably record it there and post it for you guys to watch and see. Hopefully, my trial on there might help you out if you're building an RC or thinking about modifying an RC that you have. Uh, hopefully, this will help you out on some of your decision making. Here in the near future, I'm going to be building a comp truck. I'll be including videos of that build and uh, what motor transmission things of that nature that i'll be putting in it and the reason why and if you want to follow along great uh really hope you do uh if you got any comments uh, suggestions uh, feel free to put it in the comment section definitely read them and uh, enjoy uh, your feedback here i'm having to do a little bit of reset to get up there and this one I thought it was going to go over but the suspension settled down and she just climbed up like a champ. Here I am at the top of the hill and getting ready to go down the other side. This is an area where if you watch some of my past videos I've gotten in trouble going down there because if you don't get the right line it falls down into a big hole and it either tumbles or it gets stuck. So here I'm trying to line her up, get it in the right line so that I can descend and boom, goes over on its side. But luckily I can power out of it, get it back on all four tires. I really like the way that uh, suspension's uh, working there. Keeping those tires on to the uh, rock surface so that I get traction, can uh, move the way I need to. 
Okay, here we go. Get ready to go down the hill. And combination of the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC and the Holmes 550 13 turn motor uh, can just navigate and maneuver this thing down the hill and get on down to a flat surface without any problem. So, really enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy going out there and four-wheeling with your RCs. Take care.